Hey everybody, Scout Crafter here again. We're going to do another quick restoration. Let's get to it. Okay, today's restoration is going to be, or just a cleanup basically, of this uh, Warnock strap wrench. Now, what's nice about this strap wrench is uh, it was patented on February 18th, 1919. It's uh, in Worcester, Massachusetts. And uh, these strap wrenches, there was thousands of them made. They're still... Uh, they're still around by the hundreds. You can find them anywhere. Uh, the problem is with these uh, cotton straps is uh, compared to the rubber strap wrenches, they tend to slip a little bit. And that's why if you notice on here, it says, if you could read it, it says, uh, use resin on strap. So they wanted you to uh, in impregnate the strap with resin to help it grip. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up. It's a really nice tool. Uh, there is a slight bend to it as you can see we're gonna take that out and uh, Let's get started. Okay The first thing we did was take apart the wrench take the strap put in some hot soapy water Let it sit for about an hour and then brushed it really good and got all that gunk off the uh, old strap Okay, here we are at the dake and we're gonna take out some of that uh, twist into the wrench We're gonna add a few You could see how that bends nicely and uh, get that twist out of there little by little we add a little bit more weight and check it out until we got it straight one little bend here near the top not a lot of pressure on this maybe uh, half a ton okay we have the wrench nice and straight now no more twist no more bend now we're just gonna take it over to the wire brush and then we're going to get rid of some of these forging. You see these forging marks over here? We're going to get rid of that and make it real nice. Well, we took it over to the wire brush now and uh, took off a hundred years of uh, crap and hand sweat and uh, worked it around till we got it looking pretty decent. Fresh off the wire brush, everything's coming very nicely. Uh, now what we're going to do is we started taking a coarse file. Anywhere there's these forging marks, we're going to file off some of these marks and then we're going to take it over to the belt sander. See if we can't get this nice and smooth on the top and bottom. And uh, that's it. Now I can think of no better tool than the one inch uh, belt sander to take all the uh, forging marks off the ends of this wrench and just go through the grits and get it nice and smooth. Okay, we're at the furnace again. We have the strap drying and we also have the paint baking. That'll bake for 10 hours before we do anything. Now, as always, you know, my favorite part is the, uh, this is what it looked like before. Okay, here's the after, and I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Now, what we did was, uh, we obviously fixed this up. We polished out the top and the bottom, so now, now it really feels nice in the hand. We, uh, uh, enhanced the letters here. You can see that's the original, uh, Warnock, and we did on the other side. We did the patent date, same thing you could see. Uh, we took the paint so it wasn't on there. And over here, the Worcester, Massachusetts, we just left that the way it was, but uh, everything's working great now. And you know, they still make this, um, this wrench, and I'll leave a link in the bottom where you can get it. Uh, they still make this exact wrench today that you can buy it. You can get replacement straps. The new straps are polyester with a latex coating. Um, but this still works. 100 year old wrench is still still viable today. And let me show you how a uh, strap wrench works. Now, strap wrenches traditionally are good for water filters and PVC pipe and things like that. But there's a lot of uses that you can use a strap wrench for. And even though this design is over 100 years or coming up on 100 years old, it's still useful today. Now, I'm over at the lathe, and you can see this is a uh, a chuck that's mounted into the lathe. These are traditionally very hard to get off because of the, the forces and the way the threading is that you usually you need some kind of mechanical advantage to take these off. I'm going to show you how to use this to take something like this off. We would over here, we would lock it down. That locks the chuck into place. We hold our strap wrench up with the curve facing us, wrap it around the chuck, place the strap in the only hole you could place it in, and now you could see that the, the leverage here is placing the strap against the, the arm here. So the strap is locked and there's no damage to the chuck. Now we just press down and we loosen up the chuck. And it was very easy. Now, again, 
the strap wrench uh, 100 year old design coming up next year. Warnock, uh, patent date February 18th, 1919. Still holds up today. Nice little tool. Thanks very much for tuning in. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.